everybody welcome to my lifestyle channel wild ray i'm so happy that you joined me and in this video we're going to talk about self love this is a topic that is actually so so close to my heart especially as someone who struggled with self-esteem with confidence with some body issues i was actually bullied when i was at school i was actually also bullied by some family members who are not a part of my life anymore but i was bullied you know for my weight for my skin it seemed like it was a never-ending cycle until i actually started working on myself and it's kind of said to me that only recently like really recently i realized the power of self-love and it's maybe because i'm getting older i started realize you know that i only have one health i only have one me one body and it just kind of uh, pushes you into the thinking okay i either accept myself as i am and start working on myself start showing love and respect for myself or i just keep going with this you know miserable thinking of me being like worthless and not respecting myself and just hoping for you know oh maybe tomorrow i will up a new body and just living a delusional life so this video is about self-love and a few tips that help me to finally start not only loving myself but also actually respecting myself more and i also made a blog post about it with a few journal prompts that can help you those are the journal prompts that i constantly go back to i do shadow work i reflect a lot on my life and those journal prompts always help me to reflect on myself and see what are the next steps that i should take in order to love myself even more so you can click on the link down below there is a free printable please feel free to download it print it and become your better version your best version and finally start loving yourself so let's go to the tips first so tip number one and i kind of mentioned that already there is only one you you don't have another body you can change your life but as of now you don't have another life so i think it's very crucial and important to accept yourself for who you are accept the circumstances in your life i know i know i know and you know it's incredibly hard and as someone who is kind of on a negative side right now especially we've gone through you know visa process and being separated from my fiance i'm definitely have a negative pattern uh, and i try to work on that which is extremely hard but still it's very important to accept the life circumstances and your life and yourself and your body as it is it's not that you can wake up tomorrow and dress up as someone else and by that i mean just you know get another body from the shelf put it on yourself and today you may be angelina jolie tomorrow you're jennifer aniston no pun intended just saying of course you can work on your body you can um work on your diet you can work on your skin your hair your makeup your nails but as a result you know you still have only yourself and no matter where you go you always take yourself with you so i think that's a very crucial step in order to start loving yourself more tip number two is start working on your mind and start healing yourself unfortunately there are so many traumas that we don't even realize that they exist but they do influence our daily actions the way we think the way we talk the way we react to certain situations and as someone who loves to reflect i think it's very very important to determine why do you have certain patterns of thinking why do you have certain reactions and how you want to improve that in yourself shadow work is a big part of my life reflecting is a big part of my life and this is where those journal prompts actually come into action this is when you can use them in order to First of all, know yourself better, know what makes you happy and know what you don't want to have in your life anymore. So those things are extremely, extremely important. Unfortunately, you cannot just decide, okay, you know what, I, I love myself from now and wake up tomorrow and just feel amazing about yourself. Maybe it will be for a few days, but then you will come back to your older self so it's extremely important to work on your mind day by day and if you know me you know that i believe in a step by step 
uh, thinking step by step just like lifestyle so step by step today you work on one thing on one thought tomorrow or next week you will work on something else so work on your mind and work on your thinking process those things are extremely important the next step would be to create a daily weekly and monthly action plan for your self-love and self-development those are things that are also very important it's not important how big or small those things are if you think that meditating or taking a bath once a week or going for a walk every second day of the week for like 30 minutes will make you happy do that i think it's important to show yourself some love and appreciation i think because we live in a society that constantly thrives on negativity and drama and organizations and companies that are capitalizing on our low self-esteem it's very important to actually show yourself some love and appreciation and respect with that comes that you really need to create new patterns in your life once you realize what things don't serve you you can find out which things can actually serve you and make your life better or easier so i think it's incredibly important again i think everything that i'm talking about is this, in this video is so so important but it's true you have to create new patterns in your life whether it's habits whether it's thinking process whether it's just the way you dress or the way you see yourself when you look into the mirror i think it's important to switch from negative to positive or at least try to in order to create a better environment and a better thinking process in your head and the last thing is to start setting boundaries whether with yourself or with others i know setting boundaries with yourself kind of sounds weird by that i actually mean if you feel like you are about to start thinking negatively and start telling yourself why you hate yourself just say to yourself no i'm not going this path i refuse I refuse is such a big thing for me when I feel like I'm about to be negative or angry I just say to myself you know what I refuse I refuse I refuse to follow this I refuse to live like these people I refuse to think like that I think it's very important to just cut everything and be like no I'm focusing on that this is what i want to do so setting boundaries is an incredibly important thing if you want to start loving yourself and if you want to start practicing self-love those are just a few things that help me and obviously there are more things that can help you you know my path is different from your path if you found this interesting please subscribe and like i also would like to hear about your journey what's happening in your life how did you realize that self-love is important and how you generally working on yourself and do not forget i have a blog post dedicated to self-love with 10 free journal prompts and a free printable that you can download now and just print it out and use it whatever you want to so yes thank you so much for watching this video and i see you in the next one bye <laughs>